Good afternoon, my name is Paul Gamalin. I'm the principal of Lakeland High School and I'd like to welcome you to our school. This afternoon we'll be taking a trip around the school and looking at some of the areas that our facilities millage will address. Our building was built in 1975 and has undergone four major um, improvements. Over the course of those years, We've grown in size and we've grown in students. We have approximately 1,700 students at Lakeland, which includes the International Academy West that we house. Our facility also includes a, a pools and fitness center. And at this time, if we could just go and take a look. Here we are in our media center, where you can see our carpeting is in pretty bad shape and kind of models our flooring throughout the building. To my left is examples of our windows that are in bad shape. Our windows are inefficient and could use replacement which would ultimately save the taxpayers money. We're in the hallway outside the media center at Lakeland and above me to my left is an example of a leaky roof. The ceiling tiles have been damaged and the lockers to my left are particularly troublesome. These kind of occurrences happen on a regular basis with our aging roof. Here we are in our mechanical room. This particular room houses our heating and cooling equipment as well as our water softening equipment. The equipment within this room is not only out of date, but it's in need of replacement and repair because it's inefficient. I'd like to take the 14 or so pumps that we have in this room and reduce that number down to three or four highly efficient pumps to reduce costs and save the taxpayers money. We're out front of one of our bathroom doors and this door is in desperate need of replacement. It's original to the building, 1975, as are many of the doors within our school and um, inside the bathroom you'll see many of our, our fixtures and equipment are also in desperate need of replacement. This hallway is indicative of many of the hallways in our building. As you can see above me, the ceiling tiles and the lighting is a critical need for replacement and repair. This mechanical room we're in currently houses our AC3 unit, which is original to the building, actually installed during construction in 1974. It's one of 23 inside of Lakeland High School. Um, it's the oldest and the most dire need of repair and replacement. Um, we spend a lot of time and hours working on this unit, bringing in outside contractors and putting money into it that frankly could be better spent in other areas if it was able to be replaced. I'd like to thank you for taking a tour of our building today and allowing me to highlight some of the areas that need to be addressed with our facilities millage. As you visit our building, maybe you could take a look at some of these orange signs. They will signify those areas that will be immediately addressed with the facilities millage. Again, we have got a great school here at Lakeland, and I thank you for your time in watching this video, and I hope it was informative. Many of you will have questions about the facilities millage. In an effort to answer all of them, we've created a special logo on our website. We will continue to create a series of informational materials that explain our plans for the revenue generated if the proposal gains voter approval. So visit www.hvs.org. If you have any additional questions about the facilities millage, feel free to pose a question to us through the Talk to Us feature on the website. We are very fortunate in Huron Valley Schools to have a high level of support from our community. I'd like to remind you to vote on Tuesday, May 5th. Thank you for watching, and as always, we appreciate your continued support.